everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're gonna do a marshmallow wave machine lab. And for any lab, we always need to start off with our question that we're trying to answer. So today's question is, does mass affect the wave speed on a wave machine? So I've made a wave machine for us. Um, it's just made out of two stands. We have some duct tape going down the center and I've taken some skewers and we're going to start off by looking at um, with no skewers first. Then we're gonna add a little bit of mass by adding some marshmallows to the end, one on each side. And then we're gonna do a third trial and we're gonna shove another marshmallow on there, on there, so two marshmallows on each side. And we're gonna see how this affects the wave speed. So as you guys see here, this is traveling at a pretty rapid pace. So now we're gonna put one marshmallow on each end of the skewers and we're gonna try the experiment again and see if it changes the wave speed at all. Okay, and right away we can see that this one's traveling a little bit slower already. So as you guys saw, um, every marshmallow was not perfectly in a line and that was because the weight distribution was a little bit off. Some marshmallows were really, really big while other marshmallows were really, really small. So I just moved them in a little bit or out a little bit so that we could just get them a little bit more level to start off our experiment with. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull them all to the end and we're going to put one more marshmallow on, um, trying to get it balanced and try this experiment one last time. So you can see that this wave is traveling slower than the rest, but it also has so much more definition than the other ones did because it's moving at a slower pace. All right, you guys, so the results are in. The wave machine that had the very highest wave speed was gonna be the one that had the lowest amount of mass. In this case, it was the one that had no marshmallows on it, not adding that extra mass. So the one that had the most mass or the one that had two marshmallows added on each side um, definitely had the lowest wave speed out of all of the waves. So did you catch this? Waves move energy, not matter. So in other words, when we were creating a pulse or a disturbance in the wave, the marshmallows would move up and down, which is the matter, right? So the matter would be the marshmallows and the actual skewer. Um, they're just moving up and down, kind of just in place. Um, but what's actually moving through the wave is the energy that you've added to the system. So a wave is a disturbance that moves energy, not matter. So one more question for you guys. Uh, does the amplitude affect wave speed? So um, I wanna remind you for a second what amplitude is. So amplitude is from the crest of the wave to the rest or rest to the trough. Um, this can go either way. What we're really talking about is the wave height. So let's take a look at that. So for our first trial, I'm creating a small amplitude and if I record the wave speed, it comes in at about 0.9 seconds. Our second trial, we're creating a much larger amplitude and the wave speed comes in at about 0.89 seconds. So the results are in you guys. The wave speeds were almost identical depending on whether we had a small amplitude or a much larger amplitude. So amplitude does not affect the wave speed on a wave machine at all. So I hope this was helpful you guys. Go ahead and subscribe to see more videos. Thanks everybody, bye.